So I thought we'd do a slightly new sort of video. It's going to be a bit more free talking and not so much scripted or going to a script here. Um, basically it's going to be my drive home and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about certain topics or certain questions that come up quite a lot that I sort of come across on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat and all that sort of stuff as well. I apologise if there's a bit of a lisp. I've sort of been in the wars this week. Start off with an abscess in one of my teeth, which then grew to me being allergic to the antibiotics that the dentist gave me. So I haven't been able to do much in the way of videos this week. But I'm feeling a bit better now. I'm able to speak without slurring, able to speak without excruciating pain, first of all. So yeah, um, the main topic of discussion in this video is going to be how efficient is the Audi S3. And to be quite honest, it's fairly efficient. It's, um, it's In a way, it's better than the Golf R that I had originally. I think that's due to the seven-speed gearbox that I've got here. Now, in the Golf R, just turn down the seats. In the Golf R, I was probably averaging about 18, 18, 19 miles a gallon. In this, it's on average over 1,000 miles, 21.8 miles a gallon there. That's about 42 hours of driving. So nearly 22 miles a gallon just driving about, and that's mostly driving about in dynamic mode. I do every now and then drive around in efficiency. I know, what's the point getting out yesterday if you're just going to drive around in efficiency? I only do that when I'm driving to and from work, except in this case I'm driving in dynamic because I'm filming. I'll let you get some good exhaust sounds every now and then. But uh, yeah, I drive around in efficiency sometimes on the way to and from work, just when I'm trying to relax or if I'm in traffic a lot. I don't see the point in being in dynamic when you're in traffic. You're not exactly going to be getting your, your farts when you're changing gears and all that, when you're bumper to bumper traffic. Pretty pointless. So yeah, driving around in dynamic mode, I probably average about 21 miles a gallon, 20 miles a gallon when I'm just driving about in dynamic and that's not bouncing off the red limit of every sort of gear, but you know, giving it the beats every now and then and downshifting quite a bit, you get the pops and crackles. When I'm driving around efficiency, I get a surprising 35 miles a gallon, which is very surprising. I could never achieve 30 miles a gallon, let alone 35 inside the Golf R, unless I was really trying that's coasting in neutral for most of the way. And that's on my drives from Newcastle to Southampton due to work. But here on the Audi S3, driving to and from work, which is about a 10 mile commute each way, so 20 miles in total. I'm getting about 35 miles a gallon, which is really good. Now, I believe the fuel tank size is relatively the same between both cars. I don't think there's too much difference, but I seem to be getting more out of my tank than I was in the Golf. In the Golf, I was filling up every like five days, and the Audi, it's sort of every week or so. I start filling up again. Yeah, overall it's quite efficient and it's doing its job. I mean, definitely pleasantly surprised by it. So yeah, there's not uh, not else much to say about the efficiency. Like I say, if you're driving around in the sort of efficiency mode, you can get about 35 miles a gallon on just sort of like knocking around the doors. To be honest, I sort of want to see what it's like on a long trip you know, on the motorway, trying to get a high number, I, I could probably easily get it into the low 40s, which would be very impressive. I think the most I'd gotten in the Golf was about 35 miles a gallon, and that was driving back from Southampton, and all I was doing was just sitting in eco mode, doing not much else. Yeah, 30 miles a gallon, 35 miles a gallon on efficiency, 21 in dynamic mode, and that's, when I'm in dynamic mode, I'm usually in manual mode, so I can sort of downshift when I want, and I can hold the gears a little bit longer as well. So this series, like I say, is just going to be me driving home, talking about certain things, basically certain topics, certain questions that I get asked. I'm actually going back now, being fit the Audi S3 and the Audi ring emblems on the 
car, swapping them over from the chrome to the black. Just a nice subtle change to the car. If you do want to ask a question, and you do want me to talk about it on these uh, drive home videos, leave a comment below and I'll look for the most asked question and I'll sort of make it like a topic for the video. I think my next video is going to be about uh, tuning boxes and remaps because I'm sort of looking to go stage one shortly and figuring out the best way to do it. Well, figuring out the yeah the best way to do it, whether I should do a remap or the ECU or do a tuning box. I've had a tuning box before. I did enjoy it, but uh, you've got the JV4 now for the VAG ECUs. It'd be interesting to see how the JV4 is because they do it, they are quite highly rated. And I hate traffic. I hate temporary lights. I also want to do a video on warranty. I know I answered it in one of the videos before, but I still get quite a lot of people asking about warranty and should I do this and should I do that. I'll let you do a comparison video between my Audi S3 and my Golf R just because the two similar cars I know the world's apart between manual and S-Tronic also pre-face lift and facelift but I think it'll be a good comparison because I've had the Golf R for two years that goes back May because it was, it was on a lease and the only reason I got the Audi S3 was because I didn't want to buy another Golf R I've already had it for two years so I thought buying the Audi S3 very similar, they share the same platform by the Audi S3 I get the same sort of car but a different look at the end of the day plus the Audi S3 interior in my opinion is leagues above the Golf R interior but that's my opinion I just like the Super Sport seats I like the MMI system the virtual cockpit and all that like I say, if you do have any questions that you'd like me to cover on one of these videos, just leave it in the comments below. Or if you have any ideas for other videos, again, just leave them in the comments below. I do check the comments and I do reply back, because I'm not exactly super famous. I don't get loads of comments, so it's easy for me to reply back. Four-way traffic lights here, and it takes an absolute age. To get moving, and now they go green. And people take the time. home so we'll probably wrap this up here I'll give it an edit see what it's like upload it and get your feedback on it it'll probably be a bit rusty the first attempt so hopefully it gets a bit more fluent if you like the video leave a like leave a comment about what else you'd like to see and also subscribe 